The Syrian government is telling its citizens who fled to neighbouring Turkey that it's safe to come home. Aid workers estimate around 8,500 refugees have crossed the border so far. The Turkish Red Crescent has set up a number of camps to house them. They're fleeing the latest military crackdown on protesters demanding political change to the Assad dynasty that's ruled Syria for 41 years. We came here because of the soldiers. They're expelling people from their homes and they're firing at us with their tanks. They've smashed our home. They've destroyed us. Most of the refugees have fled from the north of Syria, particularly the historic town of Marat al-Numan and nearby city of Jiz al-Shagur. The government claims their actions in the city were a result of 120 security personnel being killed by gunmen 10 days ago. State TV showed what the authorities said was a rebel arms cache. Claims and counterclaims are difficult to verify because most foreign correspondents are banned from entering the country. On the political front, the Turkish government, which has good relations with Syria, is reportedly urging President Assad to end the violence and embrace reform. Protesters in the Syrian capital Damascus have been burning Iranian and Hezbollah flags over claims by Britain and the US that they've been helping Assad's crackdown by providing advice and equipment. Iran has denied the accusations.